The sound of gunshots rang through Khartoum for a second day. In what is a quickly escalating power struggle between Sudan's armed forces and a paramilitary group, with civilians caught in the middle. Both sides claim control of key sites in the capital city, including the airport, pictured here. This video was shot on Saturday, and at least one plane can be seen burning. The violent and deadly developments come four years after the toppling of longtime leader Omar al-Bashir and 18 months after a coup against Abdullah Hamdok's government. We knew that there is unsett unsettling in, uh, in Sudan because since the, since the overthrown of the Assens al-Bashir, uh, we know that the military coup um, is still is not going to settle. So that, that has been a problem that we knew that it is going to come. The army chief, General Abdel Fattah al-Burhan, and the commander of the powerful Rapid Support Forces paramilitary, General Mohammed Hamdan Dagalo, also known as Hamedti, led the 2021 coup. Oh. Now they're fighting against each other after weeks of deepening tensions over the planned integration of the paramilitary rapid support forces into the regular army. Unrest has been reported in other parts of the country too, including the North Darfur region. The RSF evolved from a militia group that fought in the conflict there in the early 2000s. That militia group, also known as the Janjaweed, has been accused of widespread human rights abuses. It is estimated that the RSF force numbers about 100,000 and has bases around the country. The RSF was also accused of participating in the killing of dozens of pro-democracy protesters in 2019. The death toll from this week's fighting continues to rise, mostly in the capital. Over 600 people have been wounded. People there are taking shelter in their homes as the fighting continues. They are fighting for authority and looting the country and the people. But we are fighting for food, water, education and health services, which they haven't provided for us. So why are they fighting? The African Union, Arab states, the U.S. and the U.N. have urged for an immediate ceasefire. It's not clear who's in control of the country amid the ongoing fighting. But what is becoming increasingly clear now is that Sudan's transition to democracy and civilian rule appears to be quickly fading. Rahul Radhakrishnan, TRT World.